Hi, and welcome to This Week at Lifeway, which could also be called the end of the year at Lifeway. So, Happy New Year. hope you're having a good time if you have some time off or uh, just that uh, it's been a good week for you. Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 8 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all, for the Lord is near. Do not be anxious for anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And as we sit at the end of this year, moving into the next year, there's a lot of negative stuff to focus on, and yet um, I just so agree with what Paul wrote here that uh, the way we win in life is to focus on the good things, to focus on what is noble, what is right, what is pure, what is excellent or admirable. Let's set our thoughts in those things because wherever we set our direction, that's where we end up going. So, Happy New Year. Uh, this Sunday, the message is Numbering Our Days from Psalm 90, the only psalm attributed to Moses. Yep, Moses wrote one of the psalms, and we're going to see what he says about numbering our days on Sunday at 10 a.m. We will also have the uh, live stream on Facebook Live and our YouTube channel, so join us however you can. But we look forward to worshiping the Lord together. Um, we have our next work day is January the 8th at 9 a.m. We're going to be taking down all of our Christmas decorations and putting them away. We're going to uh, try to take down our 12-foot tree and see if we can squeeze that into a duffel bag. So uh, that should be exciting. But as always, there's plenty to do. So that's 9 a.m. on Saturday, January the 8th. Uh, the photo contest this week's winner is becky klein for her picture of our christmas tree lit up at night uh, my entry of the, our christmas parade float from a few years ago uh, did not do as well uh, the deadline for this week is friday at noon to get your uh, to get your pictures in january is uh, kind of a month of meetings uh, here so we have our stewardship team meetings are january the 8th and the 29th as we put together our proposed budget for this year and would appreciate your prayers uh, for that then the leadership team meeting is january 23rd our quarterly church business meeting is uh, january 30th following the service and again please pray as we prepare our, our budget for this year it will be voted on january uh, 30th uh, if you're a leader of a ministry or oversee any aspect of the budget and you have any changes for the coming year, please let me or uh, our stewardship team know, team, uh, know and we can uh, add that into the mix. Uh, another meeting is our San Diego uh, Southern Baptist Association County Association annual meeting is January the 15th at Shadow Mountain Church in El Cajon. Uh, it's a time when all of uh, the churches in San Diego County that we are affiliated with uh, get together and have updates and talk about the, the coming year, lunch is included, and in the body of the email there's a link that you can register for that. Also to let you know, we have received 1460 uh, dollars for Lottie Moon. Uh, thank you for giving. Uh, if we're asking that you have that gift in by the end of the year if you can. Uh, also year-end contributions in order to be credited as a 2021 contribution must be postmarked by December 31st of this year, 2021. That's if you mail it. Checks must be dated on or before December 31st, 2021, or uh, it can just be personally delivered to the church by midnight. Uh, December 31st, 2021. So that's it for this week. God bless you. Happy New Year, and we'll see you on Sunday.